everybody so today we have a2338 m1 macbook pro here for repair um, it's not turning on um, most likely liquid I could just guess or who knows it's not turning on so let's go ahead and check out the symptoms and see why it's not turning on all right let's see what the problem is let's open it up I see the crevice here it's very dirty uh, that's very dangerous on all these models because it's very easy to damage that. So let's go ahead and plug it in, see what we get. Nothing. Totally dead. Okay. So, what does nothing mean? Nothing can mean a lot of things, right? Most likely that maybe the port's damaged. Or most likely there is... Okay, so the bottom one works. You can 5 volts and it turned on. <laughs> and it turned off. So it quickly turned on, then it did turn off. Um, actually, I'm getting a logo. There you go. So it did juice, juice did flow for a second there. And we're plugging in and we get nothing again. Most likely there's maybe a little bit of battery charge and it just kind of went through. But there's probably a problem. And you see it keeps turning on and off right there, the voltmeter. So there's a problem mainly with that port there. All right, let's go ahead and see. There's only uh, one set of ports on this side. This is the M1 uh, MacBook Pro model. This isn't the MacBook Air. So the MacBook Pro actually has a fan. And MacBook Air doesn't have a fan. But I don't see anything, well, I do kind of a little bit. There's a little bit of just liquid. I don't see corrosion, but just a little bit of a stain there. But maybe if I lift that up, that's not really even where components are. But most likely if it's in this area, this area is a little bit sticky. Maybe there's some spill. Another good way to really take a look is to see if we have something over here. And you see on our back cover how we see a little bit of sticky droplets. So that's probably in our left area, which our left area, if we put it down, is close to where? Our left area is where our charging port, uh, ports are. So most likely there's probably something there, or maybe a little bit of drip, or maybe there's a little bit of corrosion on the actual um, USB-C port itself. If that's the case, it's not really a big deal. Um, the the USB-C ports can be easily replaced. There's just screws here, and this actually comes out on this model. Um, otherwise, let's take a look because uh, I doubt that's the only thing, but who knows? Maybe we did see it turn on, so maybe there's a good chance that there's just a little bit of corroded or maybe the, the ports just aren't super healthy. So the only thing, only way we can find out is if we open it up. So let's go ahead and open the board and uh, go under the microscope or at least take a look to see if there's any corrosion on here first. I removed it and I don't really see anything, at least with my eye here, on the side of the board or anything. I hear that your two uh, USB-C IC chips, the, those Texas Instruments, um, the CD3217, I believe, or what do they call this one? Do they call something else in this one? Yeah, the CD3217B12, those are your USB-C IC chips. If you usually have a problem with any type of uh, USB-C issue, that's usually it, outside of obviously the port, if there's anything damaged with there. This looks really clean. I don't really see anything on this board at least on this side and again this is my naked eye and I kind of trust my eyes you can never trust your eyes and you never want to do a repair based on your eyes alone you need to have a microscope you always have to of course we have a microscope here we're going to definitely want to put it under let's just go ahead and see if there's anything here that we notice and we'll double check it to make sure everything looks good but let's let me let me go let's go ahead check on the microscope all right so here is our USB IC chips they're BGA Oh, can't. Oh, under my microscope, it looks fine. Trust me. It's so unclear for you guys. There we go. How about that? That's better, huh? It's still blurry, isn't it? There we go. Okay, that looks good. So you can see it's the CD3270B12, USB-IC, and this is usually the area that may have been impacted. But let's just go ahead and scan the board, make sure there's nothing else. Um, we can mainly focus on on that. So I want to just focus mainly on the charging port because uh, we see what the what the issue is, right? The issue is that it's not coming up, or it kind of uh, did it for a little bit. It came up for a little bit on the voltmeter, and then it went away. That's usually just a problem with more of a port. But let's just go ahead, just do a quick scan, make sure we don't see any other corrosion, or we make sure we just don't see anything. That's very obvious there. Let's even flip it because this is the side of uh, impact possibly and worry a little bit dirty but nothing you see here see ah you see that right there I guarantee when we take out that USB-C port that's gonna be your problem you see even on both sides right ah 
Let me just be a little bit better so use my finger. See that? That, so most likely this is clean, most likely then the port's damaged. Uh, we don't care about this anymore. Let's go ahead and take out the port. Ah, ha. Oh, man, my ripped glove. Now we're into something, huh? So there, are, here's your problem. And this port's great, you see? This is just a removable part. The connection's fine here, but man, just though that impact there looks terrible. Absolutely terrible. Oh man, look how bad this one is. So again, this is what it's supposed to look like. See how beautiful it is? Beautiful, nice. See that? See how clean it is? See how all the pins and traces are totally perfect? And then you have just that bad hair day. You just woke up. You're all grouchy. And sometimes you just feel like this, you know? And we want to make sure that you feel okay. For this one, what we're going to do for the customer is we're going to definitely replace it. I think that's the best way to go. We do actually have it in our shop too if you're interested. Um, this this one does cover a few different models. So you can go ahead and check it out. Uh, we have, we'll have it listed there and link in the description. This is for the M1. And I do believe it covers some older models as well. And uh, if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out. And we can get a replacement for that. And it's great because it's very easy to undo, sort of. You actually have to open the board though to undo it, to, to remove it. But once you get there, you're pretty good. And it'll just be a replacement there. We got our new one and we're going to go ahead and plug it in right here just attach to the top and all we want to do is see if we're getting voltage if we're getting voltage then i'll be well very confident to plug this thing in and most likely the processor is going to get warm and everything like that so let's go ahead plug this in and we'll check our voltmeter and see if that's fine i think this would be okay see it does come on looking for 19 volts and we got 19 volts and we have oh, 0 0.4 amps 0 0.5 amps that's fine because there's no battery attached and there you go 20 volts and 0.05 amps and that's great because that, the battery isn't attached so uh, you're not going to get a whole lot of uh, current obviously going through that without the battery but it's rising a little bit more and that should be fine and as it's getting warm uh maybe i have to plug it in or something but it's a very cold chip anyway but go all right so i think that's what it's going to do it's going to actually do a uh, fix for it so let's go ahead and put it all back together with our new um, USB-C with our new USB-C charging port and let's go ahead and see if it turns on all right so we put it back and we're gonna go ahead and test it we already know we're getting our voltage so I'm really not too worried about it I'm very confident in the parts that we have here so I'm not really worried that this is gonna do it. I actually fully pull it back because I'm very confident that this whole thing is gonna work there we go let's make sure that cable looks nice and tidy there we go all right let's go ahead and plug it in make sure it turns on and see You can see right here, here's our voltmeter, and it turned on immediately, which is great. These are supposed to be pretty snappy, right, when they turn on? This is M1. M1 is supposed to be uh, really quick. They even show that little meme with a guy uh, opening the, the Mac or the CEO. So it looked good, powering on. I didn't want to show the customer's information, so we can look at our beautiful website. We go to shop. You can see right here we have our shop in a menu. Go ahead and check it out. And again, uh, oh yeah, while we were here again, oh yes, that's right. This is charging. You can see it's getting a 19.4 volts and almost three amps, which is great. And if we go to the battery, we can see the battery's charging. It's one percent, but it's definitely charging. If we remove it, it should hold a charge, and it is. Guys, okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, one of the easiest jobs you can do for a charging problem. They were so lucky that it only impacted the USB-C ports and not the board or the connections were impacted at all. It's a very, very lucky situation. It really doesn't happen often. Usually when you get in there, um, there is damage to the CD3217B12 USB-C IC components. And usually if even one of them is impacted, even though there's two, if one of them is impacted, there usually is more of a problem with uh, charging in there. But uh, that wasn't the case. It was very lucky. just more surface damage, and you can replace it. We do have it in our store. Go ahead and check it out if you're interested. We have lots of Mac parts and lots of other things going on in our store. Um, again, uh, if you want to see on, on doing... We didn't show the repair for this jack. Um, if you really want to go ahead and check it out, we do have the video of uh, one of the models. I believe it's the 2017 model that does have it soldered. The 2017 or 2018 model that does actually have this soldered to 
the MacBook itself. You can go ahead and check it out. We have lots of other ones. This is a very easy swap there, especially for this nice M1 model. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And we can go wipe it down, make it look nice for the customer, test it, charge it, make sure everything looks great, and they'll be out the door. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Please subscribe for more content. We do lots of MacBook liquid silver repairs. I guarantee you they won't be as straightforward and lucky as on this one. If you want to see lots of complicated ones, we have lots of them. Go ahead and check it out. We have lots of videos in our, in our playlist and also on our channel. Go ahead and check them out. Your support has been really great. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. See you next one. Bye.